In today's video, I'm going to be replacing a broken wheel stud on this fourth generation Pontiac Fiber Trans Am. This is a very simple procedure, but in the same token, if you've never done it, you're going to learn how to do it in case you run into this problem in the future. First step, obviously, is to lift the car up and remove the wheel where the broken wheel stud is located, which in this case is the passenger side. So let's get started. Okay, so the front end of the car is resting on jack stands for safety. So the next step is to remove the tire. And if you look up close, this is the broken wheel side right there. So like I said, I'm going to go ahead and use the bolt joint press to remove the broken wheel stud because using a punch and a hammer will damage the wheel bearing. So we'll do it this way instead. like that. So there's the broken wheel stuff. It's easy to remove it. So now we just gotta drive a new one in. Alright, so now it's time to install it. Make sure that it's the right threads, and it is. Last thing I want to do is install the wrong wheel style because they sold me the wrong one. Okay, so it's going to be a little bit trickier to to install it, steadying the ball joint press, but not too hard. I'm just going to use the edge of it and use this adapter. Like I said, I'm just going to press it with the edge of the bolt joint press. You could always use the bolt joint press reverse, so the opening of the bolt joint press is on this end, and it would just go straight through. You can do it also that way. Uh, the only problem is it's kind of tight to work with with this part on the inside of the car. So I give this a shot instead. Okay, it's going in nicely. Use a little bit more air pressure. Take my extension off. Let's give it one last squeeze. Perfect. It's on the way in. And See how tight this thing is, it's not going anywhere. So it's doable, you know. <coughs> stick the bolt on the press off, stick it off. <coughs> and 
There it is. All right, so obviously installation is reversal removal. Just a couple of tips. Uh, make sure, obviously, make sure that when you install your brake rotor, you clean it with brake cleaner. Because you've been touching it with either dirty hands or dirty gloves. Same thing with the pads and the uh, inside here on the boots where the caliper pins go. These guys right here. Make sure that you put high temp brake glue because this is a sliding caliper so it slides you know side to side when you brake and then doesn't get hung up causing the brake pads to wear uneven. After you install your brake rotor, apply a light coat of anti-seize to all the wheel studs. Snug the lug nuts gently with a little bit of air pressure, not a whole lot. Then once you lower your car, then you can tighten the lug nuts to the proper specs, which in this car is 100 foot-pounds. So as you can tell, it's very simple to replace a broken wheel stud using a bolt joint press. Thanks for watching today's video, and we'll be seeing you next time. So I'm just going to finish putting my car together.